to me, mindfulness is all about being in the moment, being present, not thinking about the future or indeed the past, um, so that you have a greater awareness of who you are and what's needed here and now. Mindfulness is really important for business because we spend most of our life while we're working getting trapped in habit loops. So we see something that we've seen before, our subconscious kicks in, and the next thing you know we're just doing what we did last time. Now, by doing so, we get caught in traps of always doing what we've always done. So by breaking out of those traps, we become more conscious, we become more aware, we make much better choices. And not only that, we're productive, but we also have a much better time when we do it. I think what's really important is you don't have to go to Machu Picchu to have a breakthrough. I think you can do it anywhere if you just know a few simple techniques. So I think there's lots of things you can do in the office to make yourself more mindful every day. One of the first things is actually just to stop and breathe. Now, we're just terrible when we're working hard. We tend to be dominated again like this with the subconscious mind, and we actually stop breathing well. And if you starve your brain of oxygen, you'll never get mindful. So some simple stuff on breathing is important. Getting away from your desk is really important because environment has a huge impact on our overall state. And if actually we go away and we walk quite deliberately and slowly away from our desk, again, that helps us drop into a different layer of consciousness. I think understanding how to manage technology is really important. So there's a lot of research out at the moment on how invasive technology is and what issues that's having with our cognitive processing and actually our attention span. So deliberately managing our email specifically so we don't get alerts. We go to it and we do an hour of it a day and then we, we get away from that so we can do some proper thinking. Those are some very simple things you can do every day. About 10 years ago when I started doing this work, I would say that it was quite an alien concept and I used to do most of my work under shadow of night. I call it other things. Nowadays, um, clients like Unilever, like Diageo, um, Nike, all these people are adopting it because they realize the benefits it's having. And although it looks as if sometimes people are away relaxing and not working, a lot of the processing that's going on is then gonna be genius when they come back to their workplace. So people are less about command and control now. They trust a little bit more that they have to create the conditions for their people to be brilliant. And when they're doing that, you get amazing results. One of the biggest problems I've found um, over the last 10 years is this invasiveness of work coming into our home life. People don't switch off anymore. They go home and they're still working at midnight. They've got the digital stuff in their bedroom, so it's even beeping at them when they're asleep. And I think what mindfulness can do is help people become more aware of how to manage that so that actually you have a meaningful interaction wherever you are. Now, that's wherever you are at work because sometimes we're really distracted there and actually we should be completely connected with that person. But even more importantly for me, it's going home. You know, if you don't have a fulfilling family life because you are distracted, it's gonna be very hard for you to be a good dad, a good mum, you know, and, and then actually a, a good worker when you get back to work the next day.